Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And there's lots of interesting announcements this week, including Amazon's consumer business just turned off its first Oracle database. RDS is now available on VMware. CloudWatch now offers anomaly detection. AWS Community Heroes published their reInvent guides. And we announced the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Krinenberg. So Amazon's consumer business just turned off its final Oracle database. Amazon migrated 75 petabytes of data stored in nearly 7,500 Oracle databases. And the migration took place from all sorts of different business units across Amazon, including Alexa, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Video, Amazon Fresh, Kindle, Amazon Music, Audible, Shopbop, Twitch, and Zappos. And the data was migrated to Amazon database services such as DynamoDB, Amazon Aurora, RDS, and Amazon Red. Shift. The migrations were accomplished with little or no downtime. It sounds like an awful lot of work, and we here at A Cloud Guru just wanted to give all the people involved in the migration a massive congratulations on its success. So RDS is now available on VMware, and this gives you the ability to provision new on-premise databases in minutes, make backups, and restore to a point in time. You get automated management of your on-premise databases without having to provision and manage the database engine yourself. Amazon RDS on VMware is available for production use and you can start using it right now. It's launched with support for Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL and MySQL. RDS on VMware works with vSphere clusters that run version 6.5 or better. It's available right now so go check it out. So CloudWatch now offers anomaly detection, a new feature that will help you make the more effective use of CloudWatch alarms. It's powered by machine learning that uses over 10 years worth of experience and uses about 12,000 internal different models. Anomaly detection analyzes the historical values for the chosen metrics, such as CPU utilization, so perhaps seemingly random CPU spikes, and then looks for predictable patterns that repeat hourly, daily, or weekly. It then creates a best fit model that will help you better predict the future and more cleanly differentiate normal and problematic behavior. You can then adjust and fine tune the model as desired, and you can even use multiple models for the same CloudWatch metric. It's available right now in all AWS regions. So the AWS Community Heroes have just published their 2019 reInvent guides. And some guides include security guides, machine learning guides, certification guides, and even deep racer DevOps and container guides. And if you are going to reInvent this year, make sure you check them out. The link is below. I'll be at reInvent again this year, so if you do see me, come and say hi. So on to Guru of the Week. Last week's Guru of the Week question was on CloudTrail, and the correct answer was D. S3. We've had many great answers posted, but this week's winner is Matt Charlton, who is a cloud engineer from the UK. Congratulations, Matt. You have an A Cloud Guru swag pack on its way to you, and you're also in the running to win a ticket to reInvent for 2020. So new question is now live. The link is below. Now, just some personal news. We just reached 1 million students. So big thank you to all our students for making this possible. The last four years have been absolutely mind-blowing for me, and our next target is to reach 10 million students. Anyway, that's it from me, Ryan Krinenberg. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.